So this is our presentation on stage three, Revelation or Epiphany. So in this presentation we'll talk about when Shay and Alberta un un undergo a Revelation or Epiphany and how that's impacted them on their motorcycle journey. Uh, so our first question that we undertook is, uh, what new values and ideas or beliefs led to the individual, um, Shay and Alberta, uh, to significant revelation? So Shay meets up with the school teacher in Bruno. So during this time, the teacher talks about his indigenous customs and all the lifestyle held by the Indians. And this was really transformative to Shay because he started to formulate understanding that <coughs> education is needed and that we should have schools that orient individuals within their own world, enabling them to play a useful role within it. So he realized that education was pivotal for bringing up new people for society. And so um, earlier in the uh, in year of um, Chile, a vision from afar, uh, he's, in the beginning he speaks about um, reviewing his writing about his journey throughout Chile. And so in, in, um, around the end of the first paragraph, it says, more than me are to write them, to give my current opinions about Chile, I prefer to review what I wrote then. And he earlier states that he wrote um, in a more enthusiastic, more uh, non-removal uh, from the scientific inquiries that he usually comes up with throughout his journey. But after a year later, he decides, um, you can see how a year later from uh, the actual journey, you can see how um, his experiences has caused him to uh, more analyse things in a deeper level, in more of a political way, it's causing him to be more revolutional. Um, and he points out all the negatives throughout the journey to Chile, so the bad medical, uh, bad medical facilities, the poor conditions um, <coughs> leading to like the bad policy around the society, as well as the poor economic state due to the government and um, how it relates to all the education and its ties with the US. And this um, shows how he wants to um, be a force of change to, uh, to Chile as well, which is further discovered in these forms. So um, the next point that we wanted to discuss with Revelation Epiphany is how the individual's experiences led them to speculate about future possibilities. So we know from um, our studies of the, docu of the documentary of Shay's future life, as well as the study of the book, that Shay was a significantly radicalized person after his events, in the, after his discoveries in Latin America, and some of these can be seen uh, directly through what some of, some of his actions are immediately influenced by what he's done in his early experiences. So one of the bigger points, one of the bigger points um, regarding uh, his uh, future possibilities is seeking the corruption in American capitalism and trying to overturn that. So Shea sees this um, corruption in American capitalism through, the, uh, through places such as Chica Camara, the, um, the copper mine, which, is a, which, was exploited by, um, which was exploited by the U.S. and uh, which was exploited by the U.S. Uh, which led to the overall which led to the overall poverty and poverty and poorness of the workers there. So um, a quote, so a quote like a quote that goes toward oh, and uh, another another point um, that another revelation that Shea undergoes is also the need to unite a lot of Chile. Uh, oh, sorry, unite a lot of Latin America. The capital, the American, the corruption of American capitalism has led him to believe that much of Latin America is disunited from each other. As seen in the quote, in an attempt to rid myself of the weight of small minor provisionalism, I propose a toast to Peru and a united Latin America. This quote is a sum of a foreshadowing. It foreshadows to Shea's fervor works in guerrilla warfare and therefore his revolution into trying to make Latin America a national and separate society from um, American capitalism. Shea in, Ch in Chile, a vision from afar, reflects the economic status of Chile and how Shea realized that poverty is attributed to exploitation. Shea notes how the access to healthcare varied depending on their use to society. For example, someone who worked in the mine would have cheaper access to healthcare than someone who did not. He also reflects on Chile's low standards of living and high unemployment, which conveys Shea's pity for the Chilean people as he questions the unfair distribution of wealth within society, displaying his developing communist Marxist ideology. Many people in the north in Chile worked in the mines in order to provide for their families. The copper, nitrate, gold and sulfur mines are better paid, but life is more expensive. Clearly, the toil by the people has triggered Shea towards a more communist approach to cater for the work of the people. 
a prominent example um, of, of poverty um, undergoing uh, poverty um, rampant throughout the people of Latin America was um, was uh, Shay's meeting with the old asthmatic woman, where I quote, "It is at times like this when a doctor is conscious of his powerlessness that he longs for a change, a change to prevent the injustice of a system." So the, this again foreshadows to the fact that he require, that he will, that he um, seeks justice for uh, impoverished Latin America, and it is, it is this sense of powerlessness <coughs> that he has made an epiphany in regards to the state of Latin America. Um, how the individual's experiences led them to a new perception of themselves and or others. Uh, so, yes, absolutely. And this really becomes the turning point, um, I guess, in uh, Guevara's memoir of, you know, his later political beliefs. Um, you know, it really becomes evident now about you know, how he uh, went and experienced the issues in the mines um, and, and in the healthcare system, particularly in the healthcare system because uh, he had a background in medicine uh, or in the, his medical degree. Um, he really expresses the um, emotion and tone and emotional tone to the reader about um, about you know how, how he feels about the um, social issues and that really becomes a motivation for him to make a change um, to you know be involved in revolution um, and his belief in, in, in communism uh, can also be attributed to the realization that really only political growth and political change can actually fix those issues rather than me, um, medical growth alone. Um, and Guevara describes this in, um, in the quote, Polit the political scene is confusing. Chile as a nation offers economic promise to any person disposed to work for it. So uh, he really states that really only uh, economic and political growth can be the solution to fixing Chile's social issues. Yeah, so through the encounter with the school teacher from Puno, um, Guevara realizes the inequality of faith and how they're destined to be unhappy and stagnate in some minor bureaucratic position and die and hoping that one day one of their children uh, one of their children might somehow achieve the goal they aspire to. So Guevara realizes that the man is tormented by his misfortune but also con contemplates that he was lucky enough to be educated. These notions of education and inequality really lead Shay to recognize the injustices in the world. And, then, and thereby contributing to his growing Marxist ideology and future revolutionary self. Significance of his youthful adventures and, and experiences shaped him as a person, led him to what he became and influences one's beliefs and political opinions. So I think the important thing about a revelation is not just the experience that you have that forces you to have this revelation or epiphany, but really the, the effect that it has on the individual to reevaluate their surroundings, to reevaluate themselves and their culture, and really reconsider their values and attitudes. So that is what Raph and I will be looking at now. So this is really evident in um, when he visits, when Guevara visits Chile, because he sees the inequality that um, is faced in Chile. The, the health care system is very um, underwhelming, very underdeveloped. And this really enables him to see the, as I said, the inequality in the world and the fact that um, the economic conditions are not as well in, or well, they're not that um, positive in Chile compared to other, other capitalist nations, I, I suppose. So if we consider this, um, this really has a profound impact on Rivera himself because he sees people, he sees the healthcare system, and he sees firsthand the impact that is having on these people. And this, this really shapes his political ideas and really impacts him uh, to become his future revolutionary self as he sees the poverty that they face and really wants to make a change and, yeah. It, uh, it's seen as, um, I think, the biggest, uh, like, contra challenge that Guevara and Alberta face is the viewing of the poverty in and throughout all of Latin America. You see that um, they're trained doctors and they're examining like their operating rooms are filthy with pitiful lighting, not just in small towns, but even in cities like Val Valparaiso. And so you t get this understanding that Guevara is maybe even, uh, probably even kicking himself because he just left, he could have made a difference, but he just left medical school, so to go on this journey. And so, 
he sees this first hand and he knows that he, can't, he cannot help at all. And um, the next point, the damaging relationship between Chile and the US, you see that during the encounter with the school teacher, it was, it was quite significant as Che was made aware of the disadvantages faced by Indians regarding education. He understood that Latin America was starting to get culturally intertwined with the American, American uh, people, and so he wanted to preserve the Latin American culture over the USA. It says in that quote, the biggest effort Chile should make to shake its uncomfortable Yankees, <coughs> to make to shake its uncomfortable Yankee friend from its back. Uh, so basically, uh, what is the individual's moment of anagnosis? Um, so anagnosis is a change from ignorance to knowledge. Uh, so basically, I'd like to think of anagnosis as a certain aspect of it, um, an aspect of itself. Think of a sea, um, Che Guevara being that sea, um, from the far-reaching and transformative experience which he has during his nine-month journey with Alberto, um, he, he comes to understand that there is that um, the standard of living in, Argent in Argentina, Chile, is a vision from is what is a, a vision from afar, which is uh, in the um, in the book itself uh, as a vignette. A vignette, sorry. Um, the health services. He understands that free public hospitals are rare. Our hospitals have no money. They lack medicine and adequate facilities. Uh, there are filthy operating rooms with uh, pitiful uh, lighting. There aren't enough surgical um, surgical instruments. The bathrooms are dirty, and overall hygiene is low. Um, he states in in his book, on top of the very low uh, wage, very low wages paid in the south, unemployment is high, and the authorities and the authorities um, afford workers very little protection. So we can also make uh, we could also link this back with the proletariats and the um, and the Yankees and how they treated how they treated those working class citizens. Um, we can, with, in further extending on the proletariats, we can link that with the power of education, with the school teacher in Pachamama. Uh, Pachamama. She states that um, without education, those in poverty will sit, um, simply feel shame and resentment. Uh, he also feels that the way that, he, that his fellow Indians will live, live within a hostile white society. And um, so he, he understands that the he understands that in Pachamama and not just there in Latin America itself, there is an imbalance in racial class, and this also instigates his drive for communism and how he um, how he transforms from how he transforms from the motorcycle journey into a communist Marxist revolutionist. Thank you. Thank you.